check this out wow oh this is huge it is a horse cock Wow, this is the living animal that makes this gigantic shell. You can see the body inside the shell here. It's bright orange, this soft body. Ah! <laughs> it moves. It's like this, right? And the head is over on this part. The foot comes out and the head is here. And so it moves along the ocean floor that way. This is the part that is the oldest part of the shell. So that teeny tiny tip at the end is where they started. That's how tiny they were. And then they grow and grow in a spiral. So they're always staying in this shell. When we found this, we were just snorkeling and we saw all these fish that were eating around it and they were actually eating the algae. Look at all this algae that's growing on the shell. So how cool is that? It's symbiotic. The fish get to eat the algae and the horse conk get to have its shell clean. So what does this horse conk eat? Well, they eat other snails like this one. Oh my God. Look at this one moving. This is a Florida fighting cock. We saw these actually trying to move exactly like they are on the bottom. They were moving and trying to get away from the horse cock because that's, that's what eats it. Now this one eats plants and algae and veggie matter. So different types of snails eat different things. But this one, the horse conch, is a carnivore. So we're gonna let this guy get a head start. We're gonna put it back further than where we found it. <laughs> Oh, I can feel it kind of coming out too. Oh! <laughs> it's coming all the way out. Wow, but it always stays attached to the shell. So this orange part here, the soft body, the foot comes out and it's what actually lets them move on the bottom. Whoa, wow, you can see the whole body. Look at the eyes here. Oh my gosh, the eyes are right here. These two projections with eyes on the end. Oh my gosh, that's the animal looking at us. So check this out. This hard piece here is attached to the soft body. This is the trap door or the operculum. Notice the size and the shape of it. It looks almost like an oyster shell, but the size is just perfect that it fits into the opening of this shell. So it's the perfect shield. So it can draw itself in and shield itself from predators. Oh, cool. Do you notice that this body goes all the way around? There's actually a part of this layer that is what's attached to the shell and that's what makes the shell. So it actually absorbs the calcium and minerals from the seawater and from their diet. And it hardens into a shell. And each species of shell has their own design. We are gonna put it back where we found it. We always wanna protect these animals in their natural habitat.